Now we're underway here in Alborg with the home side in the all red and attacking from right to left on your screens. Not defending on the left hand side in the great kit between each other in the left and center back positions. Lucas Sandel starting in the right back position. And there's your first goal of the game. Through the legs by Felix Klar. He hasn't been as busy in Europe this season as he has been in previous seasons, but getting the start today. A man who was named by Henrik Mulgaard is such an exciting player. And it will be an interesting battle between them as well. And the first defension losing here against Barca and against Kielce so far this season. Well, they have a pick, so ending that on a high, and there's the first goal of the game for Nantes. Sandel has the shot saved by Halgrimson, a fast break opportunity down the left hand side. Uh, Valero Rivera makes it 2 1, and that shows Dutch side. Gold goes in there as a second line player from the left wing and tries to create some space. That's very well read by Halgrimson. And from the Danish league over the summer was with Geo Gay, and a touch on the way through leads to the penalty called by the Croatian referees. And a two-minute suspension. Double that from the seven-meter line. Oh, it's a gorgeous finish. Sent Gale down low, dropped it over his head. 3-1, not. And just took it out of his hands. Not a perfect start. Down low, saved, rebound. A bit fortunate, though, for Alborg, but stays out somehow. Off the underside of the crossbar. Bjornsson was looking for the referees to give it to him, but it looked clearly not in. And a huge overlap down the other side. Internationally and at club level. And taking care of this match of the week. It was a fitting task for them. Has a word with Toto on the line, who's really being manhandled at the moment. Ron Thompson comes off, and after serving his two-minute suspension, Jasper Nielsen back in on the line. Oh, he's all over these Alborg players in the opening seven. Ovnicek. Persson. Ovnicek with a bounce pass across. Into the line, into Toto, and it spills out of his hand. Now, and finally, Alborg get goal number two and bring that four-goal run to an end. Persson. Oh, it's coaches of Sweden will be looking at this one. A lot of coaches looking at this one. First... Champions League match and the sporting director, but now he's got the big job and so far doing a fine job as well. Joint top of the French League. League as well. Ball out to the right wing. A save at the near post by Seaman Gell. Oh, yeah. Really good transition from Alborg. Ball eventually finds his way out to keep the ball moving and eventually Sebastian Bartold gets himself on the score sheet. You can see there on your screen the the young right back as Seaman Girl gets another big save. Ball out to Bartold again. Wonderful save. And it keeps Nant. Two goals to the good. Finish for Leo Rivera. The speed of that attack from both teams is incredible, but not on a new level. And they throw that one away. Alone, tight angle, and Seaman Girl keeps it out. He's made his bar, which stayed out. We'll say one from two. Now you can see Miguel Hansen getting ready to come on. Top score by the defense, out for a corner throw. Palmerson sets up some space for Hansen. A shot down low. And it's 5 6. And now we've Really got a game in her hands here in match of the week. Moving, it's... Oh, ho ho! Howard Palmerson down the right-hand side. That is an absolute treat in the attack for way, and in particular, Nantes attack. Ovnicek, oh yes, Rock Ovnicek. Little shimmy. Back in, ahead of Palmerson. Miguel Hansen stays in the backcourt. Ball out to Felix Clark. It's good. It's really good. An incisive pass, and Clark happy to take it on down the outside. No time for Nantes defense to respond. That brings up Alborg's Tran. 
Ball into the line now, and that's once again brilliant movement by Rocco. Alborg respond immediately. Finally, a goal in this post for Nantes, and I think Halgrimson's done a very good job. As uh, there's a another simple goal right down the center of the for Nantes. Halgrimson with a bit of pace. Felix Clark goes low. Scores high. Persic beaten with the first attempt. Must have seen that one pretty late. In between. Decides to go down the right this time. Lays it off to Persson. Linus Persson with another one. Four goal game. And Nantes continue to score with ease. Attack flowing again. With Clark into the line. And a little cheeky backhanded finish by Rene Antonsen. Didn't have much of a choice, really. Did well to get his hands on it. For Theo Monar. For Nantes. You just continue to score like it's nobody's business. 17 13. Oh, that's a dangerous. We saw at the beginning. It's almost come full circle. Hansen. Sandel cuts inside. That's good movement. Last pass out to Sebastian Bartold. Right, he is in fine form. Just the one miss on the counter attack, but from set play out on the left hand side. This would be nice overlaps created for him this time. All the time and space in the world. Wasn't going to miss that. Ovnicek to Brie. I got to Ovnicek on the left hand side. Brie has space again. Another bit of a hammer shot. Hansen gets it from Sandel. Clark on the left hand side. Hansen into the line. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Rene Antonsen whipping that one past the keeper. And there's a save for Agaforge down the other end. Another free throw given. All hope lost. And a chance here right before the break to maybe cut it down to one or two. Nice skip pass across. And good movement as well by Thibaut Brie. That's really good. Thibaut Brie just leaving Sandel for 10. And Miguel Hansen against Ivan Pesic. Put away, never in doubt, really. And with two minutes left in this first half, Alborg. Oh, well, so <laughs> Theo Monar is whipped into it. Popped inside, Sandel caught out. Mulgar knew better than to Hansen. Clark. The ball not moving as quickly as it once did. And there's a save by Pesic. Rebound. Oh, how did he get his hands on that? Rene Thompson. Just gets the hand, hustle, pure hustle. This will be a good and there's a save before the buzzer, an important save as well for Mikhail Agonforsch. Alborg have been the second best team, but they find themselves